Hello Year 6, hello my maths group, I hope you're all well and had a nice uh, VE day weekend um, and enjoyed the uh, most of the weather that we've been having recently. Now I hope you got on well last week with the written method of multiplication. Uh, we're going to be looking at another method, uh, written method of calculation this week and this is to do with division. And we're going to have a look at um, a written method for division where there are no remainders. Uh, and also a question where there is remainders to see what we can do with those remainders. So let's have a look at a calculation where the answer has no remainder. Now this calculation, 1,860 divided by 12. Now we know the written method we use for division, and that is the bus stop method. The larger number goes within the bus stop. And the divisor, 12 in this instance, goes on the outside. Now I know you're probably thinking, Mr. Murphy is going to tell me, space out your digits in the bus stop. Absolutely, because any numbers you need to carry over, you can clearly see. Now I'm going to use a red pen for this, just to show you what you need to be doing. Hopefully you'll remember it, but if not, I'm going to go through step by step. So the first thing, we keep our divisor 12 as a whole number. And then we work through each digit and see if the divisor goes into that number. So how many times does 12 go into 1? Well, it can't. So that would be a 0. And we would carry over the 1. So we now effectively have 18. How many times does 12 go into 18? Well, we know that goes in 1 time. And then we've got a remainder of... 66. Now sometimes we may need to use multiplication facts to help us out. We need to think, well, how many times does 12 go into 66? Now knowing our 12 times table, we know that five lots of 12 are 60. So how many times does 12 go into 66? Well, that goes into it five times, and then we have remaining six. Then, last calculation, how many times does 12 go into 60? Well, we already know that 12 fives are 60, so that is five. So our answer to 1,860 divided by 12 is 155. So that's a question where you won't get a remainder, we're going to have a look at another question now where actually you will get a remainder. And there's a few things that we can do with this. Um, and sometimes it's necessary to work out what to do with remainder. The questions such as maybe measurement or money, um, where you're going to need to know precisely what that remainder means. So let's have a look at this calculation then. 6,532 divided by 16. Again, I'm going to use my red pen just so we can see what we are doing. We keep the 16 as a whole, and then we think to ourselves, well, how many times does 16 go into 6? Well, we know it can't, so that's a 0, and we carry over our 6. How many times does 16 go into 65? Well, we may need to do our multiplication facts here. We know that 1 times 16 is 16, so we don't need to write that down. 2 times 16 is 32. So I can write times 2 here. Now, if we're thinking mathematically, I know if I double 32, I get 64, and that is below 65. So 64 is 4 lots of 16. So that goes in there four times, and we carry over the one. Now we need to think to ourselves, well, how many times does 16 go into 13? Well, it doesn't. So we have a zero here. And this 13, we need to carry over in front of the two. So now we've got 132. Now, again, if we have a look at this, 64, if we doubled 64, we get 128. And 
that is eight lots. And that is just below 132, so we know 16 can only go into 132 eight times. So that leaves us with a remainder now. That remainder is four. Now we can do a few things with this. We can put that in as a fraction. We can also put that in as a decimal number. So let's have a look at the answer as a fraction. And this is quite simple if we remember what we do. So as a fraction, our answer would be 408. And the remainder becomes our numerator. And the divisor becomes our denominator. So our answer could be 408 and 4 sixteenths. You may have realised that you could simplify 4 sixteenths to 1 quarter. So if you have simplified it, your answer would be 408 and 1 quarter. So that's turning your remainder into a fraction. You can also turn it into a decimal number. So let's have a look at that. We know we've got this remainder 14. Now we know the eight is our ones column. So we now need to put a decimal point in because we're now going into tenths and hundredths, thousandths maybe. So let's have a look. We need to put a place value holder in here. And that four now makes it 40. So effectively 40 tenths. Now again, we need to work out how many times does 16 go into 40. Well, we know that two lots of 16 are 32. So that would be two, and that gives us a remainder of eight. Again, we need to put a place value holder in here because we're now dealing with the hundreds. How many times does 16 go into 18? Well, we know that four lots of 16 and 64. If I did another 16 onto 64, I get to 80. Now, some of you will be saying 